everybody. Rob Taylor here from Team Taylor and Keller Williams Capital District. Welcome to another episode of Market Mondays. Today is our monthly market report where we're talking about the month of April. The month of April 2020 and then our first full month of quarantine. And man, we got a lot of stuff we want to reveal to you. As always, we're talking about single family residents and our source is the global MLS. Let's get started. I guess first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen with you so that we can talk about what is going on. So now that we have that taken care of, let's begin. I mean, in Albany County, the first thing I, I want to say is the reason why you can take a look at a market and be able to dissect it and help clients and people like yourself to best navigate what they want to do is you got to have history. And we have been doing this for over a year, um, closer to two years. And we're able to look back, not only at the previous months, but also last year to kind of see what's really going on. And that is really where I got some great ahas when we looked at the month of April. So we know that there is an inventory shortage, at least that's the way it feels. So when you can back that up with data, that helps us make the best decisions going forward. The month of April, we had 119 pending or uh, under contract uh, properties for the month. And Albany was first with 31 pending transactions, followed by Gilderland with 22. Now, those of you who may be joining us for the first time, let me explain a little bit what the colors mean. So if something is first in a category, it will be green. If it's second, it'll be yellow. If there was zero, so if Voyageville had no sales for the month, then one, that'd be pretty bad. And two, it would be a zero here and it'd be red going there. Or if there was a category with no sales, so between two and 300,000, if there were no transactions, this would be red, okay? But as it is, two and 300,000 is first with 39, followed by three to 400,000 with 23. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, average days on market, Gilderland was best with 28. Now the good part is, this is one of the only counties that don't have a bunch of hundred and some day averages on the market. So that is good for the most part. We're talking a month to two months that the inventory is being uh, sold. So that part is very good. And the average price point, Boreasville is first with uh, a little over 500,000 followed by Bethlehem. But overall, the strength is very good in the average days of market as well. Highest sale for the month was in North Colony. 1.495 million was the list price. So that is uh, pretty pretty nice for the North Colony School District. Now, let's get into the real meat and potatoes. One of the things that we want to make sure we're always looking at is not only the sales, but how much inventory, especially now in this market. So when we talk about number of pendings with 119 for the month, let's look back at Last year, the same time, in the month of April, there were 218 transactions. So 218, 119 this year. What more can we say other than that's a hundred property difference? There's gotta be a reason for that. So last year, the same time, there were a hundred more sales in this month. So now quarantine has something to do with it. Lack of inventory has something to do with it. So you start adding these up. And what we do know is we have a lot of buyers that are looking. When you think about it, there should be a hundred more people that would be under contract, would be sold. So there is definitely an opportunity there. Rates have never been lower that I can remember. And I mean, how much lower can they go? We're not gonna see rates in the ones, 1%. So therefore it's a great time for a person to be buying as far as getting money almost for free or as cheap as possibly they can. Um, and when we look at the extreme lack of transactions, then, then we look a little closer as to the number of available properties. Now, last year when we were doing this, we did not track active uh, properties on the market. 
which we learned and we because of people like yourself clients uh who used to reach out to us say hey can you let us know how much properties there are so we do that now so when we look at april this year we see that as uh i usually make this this code as for the whole month, we are down seven properties. So for the beginning of the month, so this is active beginning of month, active end of month. So as you can see, some school districts were up or even, but most were down. Overall, we were only down seven properties in Albany County from beginning to end of month. But when we look at the month before that, so in March, we were down 56 properties. So 56 less properties at the end of March than they were at the beginning. We add another seven to it, now we're 63. And you see how this starts. So now we look at February, we were down 14. So February, they were down 14 for the month. So over the last three months, that's 76 less properties that there are to choose from. So if you added those 76 properties back into the market, would we notice such a big difference in sales? Now, just on the just on the fact that we've lost 76 in the last three months, how many have we lost over the last year, right? So is it less buyers or is it less opportunities for buyers? And I would say it's the latter. There are less opportunities. The rates are helping more buyers to want to buy but they don't have as many properties to look at. So if you added those 76 properties back in, would we be talking about maybe just a 60 difference or something like that? So these are all things that we help our clients and people like yourself to look at to decide if this is the right opportunity for them. We also, again, like you see, we have it broken down into categories. So we can specifically say, hey, how does it look for somebody looking to buy in the one to 200,000 range or the 400 to 500 range? We can do that and we do a lot of these things for our current clients, but we wanted to be able to put this on YouTube for you and be able to provide it to more people because in this market, in this time, there are so many people that have a lot of questions and we wanted to be able to share that with as many of you as we can. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you put the notifications on so that when we put some new content up and we don't uh, put up content all the time, but when we do content once a week, you can be notified and you can get this great information. And the more you are tuning in, the more you can learn to read the information that we give you as well. And we're here to help guide you and make it as specific as you need. But again, when we look in that, we're down so many properties and yet now here's another interesting fact so we look at in the month of april the number one school district albany was 31 number two was gilgalen with 22. when we look back at last year look how many school districts would have been ahead of the best uh school district of the month so albany did 31. there are four school districts that had more pending or had more pending last year than Albany did and Albany was number one. So that kind of puts it in perspective as to where we are compared to last year, but also again, the opportunity. So if you know somebody who was thinking about selling, it's a great time to find out what their property would be worth because this is absolutely a seller's market because there is not enough inventory and many, many properties are going pending with multiple, multiple offers within the first day, two days, three days. We are selling properties that we're getting offers before the people have even seen the property. Being able to do things digitally and virtually, um, every house that's not happening, but the opportunity is there. The opportunity is there for you to still sell a property when somebody cannot easily get into it. It's a way to do it safely. There's a way to do it with technology. And we're doing some pretty amazing things we love sharing uh, with people like yourself. So feel free to contact us. And we do this every single Monday. Once a month, we do a monthly market recap. And then every week we do kind of updates to let you know what's going on even on a weekly basis. So subscribe. Put the notifications on and we will talk to you soon. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you next week. Have a great week.